Have you subscribed to our skits channel? Well, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe. Terrell fixes all skits. And there's your dinner. Go subscribe right now, or I'm gonna hit you with this hammer. Pterodactyl here. Today's video is gonna be on this here simple city. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna replace the axle spindles that the front wheels ride on because they got some deep grooves wore in it. But before we start the repair, it's story time again. Gather around, grass rats. It's time for a little story. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but Brakes and Scrap them, they own that Simple City uh, brand of mower. Plus they own Snapper and they own Murray. So we looked up the new spindles for it. And those crazy knuckleheads over there at Breaks and Scrap them, they want $100 a piece for the left and the right spindle. That's $200 for them parts. And of course, the one side they didn't even have in stock. So immediately when we go to order it, one's gonna be on back order. Now what good is that gonna do us? So we thought, all right, let's look on Flea Bay and see if they're making them aftermarket. Now I know I say a lot of times, you know, don't buy them aftermarket parts, but in this case, it's just an axle. It's just a hunk of steel. So how can you go wrong with that? And this looks like it's good quality for uh, aftermarket. And guess how much? Like $74.99, like 75 bucks for the set of two. So we're going to show you where we found them on Flea Bay, the site we found them at, the, the vendor that sells them on there. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, install a set of these. See, they even give you the little Eclipse or even taped to it. Now these aren't made in China. They're made in India. So how can you go wrong? Less than half what breaks and scrapping wants. You know, they're, they're out of their mind, these people over there. Ever since they filed for that bankruptcy and they got bailed out, that company, in my opinion, is just went, it's all about the stockholders and, and making them happy. They just jacked the crap out of them prices on them parts. We had one guy come in here. He needed an air filter for his leaf uh, vac engine, which had like a six and a half horse, kind of like a, a Honda knockoff. They wanted almost $50 for the air filter. We found an aftermarket Honda one that fit on there perfect. They're out of their minds. Uh, they're gonna price themselves right out of business again. And this time I hope nobody bails them out. All right. So these tires were all wore out. So we already put new tires on it. We were just waiting for these spindles to come in. So we, we put it all back together so we could move it around. But look, look how wore out they are. Now we're in sand out here in Podunk. And what I found from working on this stuff down here since 08 is it don't matter if you grease these wheels or you don't grease them. That sand gets in there and it just acts like sandpaper and it just wears this stuff out. We've got a snapper in here. It looks identical to this. It just says snapper on it. And it's red instead of that orange. And it's the same thing. And they came in within one week of each other. And they both had the same problem. So I had to order a set of these and then turn around and order another set. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is pop these caps off and hold the wheel on. And it, this is pretty simple and straightforward repair. And you got this E-clip or C-clip, whatever you wanna call it. And we're going to replace these wheel bushings because they're all wore out. 
Now underneath there, it's all grooved because the weight of the tractor is pushing down on it so it wears out the bottom. So when you look at the top of the axle, it looks fine. But all underneath, it's all wore out. All right, I gotta put my spectacles on because I can't see without them. Now if these caps are hard, you can take Mr. Heat Gun and warm them up. Hey, Mr. Heat Gun, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Carol. How are you today? Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. We're getting busy here. People are getting antsy. Yeah, well, what do you want me to blow my stinky breath on today? I want you to warm up that cap. Oh, that cap there? Yeah, that cap right there, Mr. Heat Gun. You got it, buddy. I'll blow my stinky breath right on there. Don't burn yourself, Carol. I got hot, stinky breath. I'll try not to. I know that breath of yours can get real hot. And stinky. You think that's enough? I don't know. Let's see. All right. If, if you need some more hot, stinky breath, I'm here. Okay. Mr. Heat Gun, I love that guy. We can take that off. So now we'll release this. So you need a half inch wrench and a 916 socket. Half inch up top. Well, I thought it was 916. What is it, half on the top and the bottom? Oh, I got this 12 point socket. It's all wore out. Knucklehead. Let me grab one over here real quick. Here's a six pointer. I'll have to go find me another another socket. Throw that one away or take it back to Craftsman. Yep. It's on there pretty dang tight. Let's use the pneumatic on it. This will take her off half inch. And then over here, we got this one. And that's 7 eighths on top. And 9 sixteenths on the bottom. Got a little spacer in there. Don't lose it. And then again, we got an E clip up top. And there's your dinner. Now she's off. And look. Look how wore out it is. We need this little washer. So here's the new one. Here's that washer. Now the only thing I noticed is, you know, it's a little heavy on the powder coating, so you may have to sand off the powder coating if it doesn't go on. We got our new clips in here. And we get this, there's grease on there. So I know he's been greasing it. It's just this sand out here. A pair of channel locks. All right, we got that back on. There's our bushing. There's our nut. Tighten her down.
Now we can put our put our tie rod on. Let me try going back here. Give me a little more room. Uh oh. There we go. All right, I got that in there. Here's the nut for that. Switch back over to my 916th. And my half inch up top. We don't want to go crazy. I'll leave this off for now because I'm going to grease it. And now we're going to change these wheel bushings. And that's real simple to do. So we'll do that over on the bench. Now these are the wheel bushings I stock. I get them from Rotary. They're about five or six dollars a piece. You might be able to find them a little cheap, a little cheaper. Excuse me. That's the Rotary number. One three three five nine. And these wheel bushings fit a bunch of different mowers. These are pretty standardized bushings. These centered. So all you need is a punch. If you don't have a punch, you could use a solid metal bar from something just so you can get it in there. Just go side to side and you just knock them out. See, it's basically the same thing. This one's just got a little flat on it where this one's got a divot. And you're probably wondering, what's that for? What's that for, Terrell? Why has it got that flat spot and that divot on there? That's so on some tractors where they put the grease fitting for the wheels, that's so. You line it up with the grease fitting. Now this one, it's not going to interfere. But some of them, the grease fitting is like back here. And if you have it like this, you're going to block off the grease from entering the wheel. But in this application, it doesn't matter which way we put it because it's not going to, it's not going to interfere with the out, the outlet of the, uh, of the grease. Now, there is grease in here. Like I said, he was greasing it. So there's grease. Because I've had people bring these wheels to me. Now I gotta space this up some, so I can get a couple of two befores. I gotta get it off the off the bench here so there's some room. Now I've had people bring these in and they're like, how do you get those wheel bushings out? Don't you have to have a press? Yeah, here's my press right here. Just knock them out. Just drive them out. And then I'll take that screwdriver and uh, clean out that old grease. Now, if you have a press, you can press them back in, the new ones. If you don't have a press, you can just knock them back in with a hammer. If you got a plastic hammer or a brass hammer, if you don't, you could use a block of wood. Put a block of wood on there. That way you don't flare it out. And you just drive them back in.
And there's your dinner. New bushings. Now we're ready to install the wheel. And like I said, the, the other one we did on the snapper, the powder coat was a little heavy, so we had to kind of sand it down a little bit. Let's see if that's the case on this one. Nope, went right on. Here's our washer, which helps to hold that cap on. And here's our new E-clip. Or you can use the old ones over, as long as they're not broke. There's your dinner. Good as new. Let me get the grease gun. We'll grease it. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. This one's called Lock and Lube. I noticed they got a lot of different ones on the market that do the same thing. This thing is really sweet because it locks on there and it's metal. You know, a lot of these grease gun fittings on the front are plastic. This is all metal. Here's the one that I got. But it's nice. It's made in South Africa. So it locks on there. There, we got some grease coming out. That's why I wanted to leave the cap off. Just kind of try to push out some of that old grease. That's good enough. And then that other grease fitting's on the inside here. And then I'll clean all that off of there. We're all greased up. Now I'll do the same to the other side. All right, this one wasn't taking any grease. It pumped up, but it, it just stopped. So that grease fitting is probably plugged. So let me take it off of there. Let me go back on the bench. All right, it's got a metric grease fitting on it. Ten millimeter wrench. Nothing was coming through. Let me get the grease gun. Huh? Well, wants to go now. I don't know what happened. It didn't want to go and it's it's not plugged here. I can get the I wonder if it's that that close to the axle itself that it wouldn't let the grease in. I wonder if this is Say my finger is the axle, and this is like this. I bet you that's what it is. And that's why it wouldn't let any grease in there. So you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna take the wizard wheel, and I'm gonna grind like a, like a relief in there. I don't wanna grind any of the threads down. I'm just gonna put a relief in there. So let me get the wizard wheel. Do I wipe my all this grease off my hands? So I cut like a little X or a cross in there to give it some relief. Now we'll reinstall it and see what happens.
Still hard. Well, that didn't work. Let me grind it down. Because the grease is going through. It's just up against the shaft. Maybe he wasn't greasing it. Maybe it's just stupid. Grease fitting. Okay, I ruined this one. When I ground it down, I couldn't get it to go back in the hole because it's got tapered threads on it. So I had some new ones in stock. It's an M8 metric. It's an M8. Just in case you do the same to yours. So let's screw this one in and see. And it doesn't have a 10 millimeter head on it either. Let's see what, what we can get to fit on there. What is it, nine millimeter? Yeah, nine millimeter. Fits in there better too. Oh. tight. Let's see if it'll take grease now. Let's try this again. I didn't think that this grease fit was going to kick my keister. You want it to be able to grease it without having to take the wheel off to fill it. Now that new one I put in there said it was at a 45. Oh yeah. Come over here, Mr. Cameraman. It's taking grease now. Here it comes. See, it's starting to push the bushing out. He's full of grease now. I gotta knock that bushing back in. Start to push it out. That's how tight it is. That's how tight it fits now. Got tight clearances on it now. Should have left the the clip on it. Full of grease. All right, this cap hardened up on me again. Here's a dust cap for here. Mr. Heat gun. At your attention. Heat up that cap again. You got it, Carol. You ever think about brushing your teeth? Get rid of that stinky breath. I've done that before. The problem with brushing your teeth is you gotta do it every day. Well, yeah. You don't wanna brush your teeth every day? Get off my back! All right, take it easy, take it easy.
Geez, Mr. Heat got it a little testy there. So now it's nice and pliable. Mr. Heat Gun, you did a good job. I'm, I'm sorry I barked at you, Carol. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's no problem. All right, so let me do the same to the other side. Okay, you got the other side off. You can see it's all, it's all wore down, too. And one thing I forgot when I was looking at this one, because it had a bunch of grease, there's a washer that goes on here. I forgot to put it on that side. So I'll have to take that side back off. Put that washer. I bet you there's a lot of you watching this video probably saying, He forgot to put that washer on there. So here's our clips, our taped to this one. And there's a sticker on here I gotta get off. Otherwise the wheel ain't gonna go on with that sticker on there. All right, this side's taking grease. Not like that other side. There was something wrong with that grease fitting. There it comes, see it? side that I forgot because it was hiding in that grease there it is good thing I noticed that see sometimes you get ahead of yourself so let's let it down on the jack and look we roll it back some some aftermarket parts maybe the steering you know they didn't weld them right and your steering wheels are like this or your wheels are like this but they look good well there you have it OEM overpriced from brakes and scrap them you know where these are going don't you they're going where Nikki six goes in the scrap barrel Nikki six in the scrap barrel junk, junk, junk. so maybe you got one of these tractors Maybe you need that spindle. Check online first. Make sure they don't have them aftermarket. Go to our online store. Check out the stuff we got there. We got a Simple City sticker that would look good on your Simple City. Follow me with your wore out axle spindles. 
on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm a clock. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Save it money! Fixing the steering! You know, we looked up a bunch of parts today from Brakes and Scrapple. We we're working on some jobs. We needed some valve cover gaskets for a Vanguard. Back ordered. Needed some other parts. Back ordered. Air filter. Back ordered. And then they wonder why I don't buy any parts from them. You know why? Because they don't have any parts! <laughs>